All right, so you have a Chromebook or you've installed Chrome OS on an old laptop and you want to install Visual Studio Code. First thing, go to your settings, either the clock and then the cogwheel or however it is you want to get to your settings. In the search, you can type in Linux and choose either one of these options, which are just shortcuts to this option over here on the left under advanced, developers. We're going to turn on a Linux development environment. So here's the wizard, we'll click next and you need to choose a username for your Linux install, try to pick something short. I highly recommend just staying with the 10 gig and press start and then go get a coffee because this is gonna take some time to install. Once it does finish, you're going to get what's called a terminal window, which is like a DOS window if you're more of a Windows computer. Basically, it's a place to type in commands. Now that Linux that we just installed is not fully up to date. So what we're going to do is we're going to in install the latest updates. We're going to ask what are the latest updates by typing in sudo apt update. apt is the package manager for this Linux install. sudo means to run it as an administrator. So we're saying, hey, super user do run the apt command and ask for the updates. And we can see on my particular one here that I've got 31 packages that can be upgraded. The number might be different for you. And now I'm going to upgrade them. I'm going to type in sudo apt dash y hyphen y, whatever you want to call that, space upgrade. And the dash y is just so that we don't have to type in yes to all of the upgrades. So let this run. And once you do, it'll be fully updated. Once it's installed, we can see what else is part of our Linux install here. Let's try running Python and see if that comes automatically with the system. Oh, and Python's not found. But what about Python 3? Yeah, so Python 3 is installed, but running just the Python command doesn't work. So there's a shortcut, actually, we can install that'll fix that. If you want to, you can run sudo apt install python is python3. All this does is it makes a shortcut so that when you run Python or if another program tries to run Python, it runs version 3 of Python, which is really important for security reasons, actually. Python 2 is not very secure. Now that Linux and Python are installed, we can go to visualstudio.com, code.visualstudio.com, and we're going to want to download the install for this thing. And because we're running Debian, that would be a .deb or a deb file. But it does depend on your architecture. Maybe you shouldn't be downloading the AMD64 version because maybe you're running like an ARM64. It depends on your Chromebook. So we're going to go to the uh, terminal here and we're going to type in arch. That'll tell us our architecture. Now mine is running an x86 64 bit. x86 is the AMD or Intel style chips, but there's also ARM32, ARM64, and lots of different processors that are used. So you're going to want to figure that out and download the appropriate DEB file. And you can see here that there's a couple different options when you go to download them. So I'll be downloading the x64 version. I'm going to download that to my Linux files folder, but ultimately you can download that to anywhere on your Chromebook. The downloads folder is just fine. Once we have that downloaded, we can open it in the files app and see that it's right there in our Linux files folder. You could also see it in terminal by using the ls command to list the files that are in the current working directory. And if we really wanted to, we could install it from the terminal with sudo apt install, but we'll just go and double click on the file. That's the easiest way for sure. Chrome OS knows we have Linux installed, so we're just going to go ahead and install and let that magic happen. Once installed, we're almost finished. We have a couple different ways we can run the app. We can even call it code from the terminal. And if we hit enter, that'll run VS Code. Also in your launcher, there's a Linux apps folder and there's Visual Studio right there. So we can click on it to launch the program. And there we have it, it opened up. Now just proof of concept, I'll close it and from the terminal, I'll hit enter after typing in code. And in fact, it runs Visual Studio code. So a couple different ways you can launch this thing. Let me close my terminal here. And there we have it, a fully functioning Visual Studio code. I'm going to pin that to my desktop so that I always have the icon there. But of course, that's personal preference. And look at that, we even have a terminal in Visual Studio code that we can run things 
uh, from there. But of course, that's all about learning Visual Studio Code, and that's not what this video was for. So I hope you were able to get that installed, and if you're running into any, in, any issues, uh, Google is your best friend.